I, I just want to say um, to everyone here that it's not what you think. This is not about saving Ballpate Mountain and the Sierra Club worked with Ted for many years to save it and worked after it was saved to make sure that it wasn't turned into soccer fields or highways uh, and the county listened. This is not about saving Goat Hill where you know Jay Watson helped save the area right above my hometown in Lambertville or it's not about this pipeline cutting through Swan Creek Reservoir where I get my drinking water. It's not about the 88 other streams, most of them are C1 that we work to get upgraded so that they have the 300 foot buffers. It's not about um, all the preserved farmland that it cuts through. It's not about safety. It's about the future of this country and this planet. We are on the front lines in the battle between the fossil foolishness of the past and a clean energy future. The reason that they're pushing these speculative pipelines that they don't need and they can't even justify is to make sure that they can lock up billions of dollars in investment and keep the people addicted to fossil fuels so that we don't move to the green energy future. I was with the mayor. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I was with the mayor and former mayor Sandham when they opened, not far from here, a hydrogen house with a hydrogen car completely off the grid. We can do it. Last week, um, the Obama administration just put out for bid 300,000 acres for offshore wind. We could get 50% of our electricity just from the wind off of our coast. We can do a lot to deal with climate change. We can make sure our state is more resilient. We can make our homes more energy efficient. We, everyone here, if you did simple energy efficiency, you can cut your use by a third. And most houses, 50%. We're at that cutting edge. Even China has now embraced cap and trade, <laughs> taking away the excuse from some of those people down in Washington you got to deal with. <laughs> yeah, not you. You're the, you're the sane one in a room full of insane people. That's the hard part. <laughs> um, you know, that they can't even use that excuse anymore. And that's the point, that we have a chance to make this world a better place for future generations. And this pipeline, this blowtorch in a backyard, this scar on our landscape, this polluter of our air and water is really what this battle is all about because it's about a clean energy future or it's about big oil companies. Look, it's very simple. The gas companies get the money. Europe may end up with the gas, and we get the pipe. That's what it's yeah, all about. Exactly. Uh -huh. And all the work that everybody here, and for generations, to save each one of those pieces of land. It didn't happen because government just said, we're going to save it. People work for it. They fought for developments. You know, if uh, Ted and Neil Upmeyer didn't fight to stop 95 from going, up the, going right up the canal, uh, you know, this whole area would, have been, would look like Cherry Hill. So this is what the battle is about. It's really about our future and our kids. And, you know, the industry controls FERC. They actually pay their salaries through fees. FERC has become a rubber stamp. They don't work for us. There are people in Congress that are trying to take away your rights from having to be able to do comments on this through the NEPA process. We have a lot of battles that are part of this, but this is the symbol, not just for our valley, but for the country. And that's sort of why we're here, because what's happening here is incredible. This is like my 11th different pipeline battle, and each time you learn a little bit. And the biggest thing here is that 70% of the people in New Jersey have said no, making their job a lot harder. Um, you know, this was, you know, the crossroads of the revolution, and they want to turn it into the crossroads of the pipelines. And we fought a war for independence here, and today the British or the gas companies and the pipeline companies are the Hessians. They're the mercenaries that want to take our lands and our homes. We won that battle. And they cannot take our homes, and we can fight for a cleaner future. But first, what we got to do is we, say, we have to say, get the FERC out of our valley, get the FERC out of our backyards, get the FERC out of our homes, and we're going to take this and win. Because together, if we stand together, they cannot beat us. And the reason is that as long as we're all in opposition, they can't play one town against another and try to move the pipeline, or one homeowner against another. As long as we stand together and willing to fight, and if every one of you and every one of your neighbors and everybody in this valley intervenes and starts getting on the record why this pipeline is wrong for New Jersey and wrong for this country, and you know whether it's some swamp pink in your backyard or a wood turtle or a Revolutionary War Road, get all that on the record so we can stop this, because together we can beat them. Thank you.